So two other kinds of lighting are shown here. One is this indirect lighting over here where basically it's just a bunch of carved out pillars with uh, torches behind them. Gives a kind of a cool eerie effect. And over here is uh, for your outdoor dining. You can stay heated and well lit by having lava over fences. The key idea is that lava only burns things that are next to them and above them, uh, not below them. So as long as you believe Notch will never change the rules, this is a brilliant idea. Other than that, it would be uh, a tad deranged. Anyway, let's see, that's about it. Um, I think I'll, I'll finish the tour just showing uh, things that no longer work. This is the strobe machine. I'll link to that because I really liked the uh, strobe machine. I think it was pretty cool. But the rules changed again, and that no longer works. And up here is a preserved area that I just don't even dig anywhere near because if you dig close enough to things that are lit, it changes the lighting and destroys it. So these are glow boxes and glow walls. They're basically little um, single steps with lighting behind them that uh, the light basically shines, uh, shines through them. And this effect no longer works. Uh, but if I don't touch anything, it'll stay just fine like this. For example, I dug over here, and these no longer work. These, uh, this glow just barely comes through the stairs now because stairs are now they stop light, but over here these stairs let the light through. And with that, I'll bid you fair ado and enjoy National Mood Lighting Month. Bye now.